Well, we finally made it. It's been a long road. Every year I try to think of what I'm going to say to the graduates. What is worth your time for me to say it? And what might you walk away with and remember? Because today it's really just all about you, your name, your diploma, and your family. So I've had a lot more time to think about what to say than normal. In the last month, I keep thinking about what have I not said to you already in a Tuesday meeting or in a class group that might be important to hear today. And I have two words. One word I don't think I've ever used with you as a class. And the other word I've used so much that Miss Wyatt put it on a shirt and gave me a sign that said it. So the first word is resilience. There is no way that there's another word for this class of 2020 than resilience. We've set a lot of classes out of this school. My person, me personally, 22 years I've been doing this, plus the four years that I was here and teachers that have been here longer than I have. And we know that there will never be, I pray, another class that will develop the resilience in the year that you guys have. And COVID-19 was only the beginning of what this year has brought us. So. The resilience that you've learned from this year, how to bounce back, that, that is going to be the biggest lesson that you're going to learn in high school. The second word, and you should already know what it is, is kind. The things that we have had witnessed this last several months, whether it was because of um, the polarizing things that are happening in politics, all of the um, unrest because of mistreatment and uh, biases that people don't know they have, and some that are very overt and some that are very covert but they exist and we've been seeing those biases and that kindness that you can take away from this experience nothing else matters at the end of the day than kindness because kindness will make other people's lives better and your life better in every situation your opinion is only as important as when it starts to hurt other people and that's where kindness comes in so resilience and kindness that's the two words I want you to walk away with the only other thing I want to tell you is I came into education for one reason and I maybe forgot that but three months in this building without you it's you so thank you for the opportunity to educate you thank you for the opportunity to be a little part in what I hope is an amazing adventure best of luck class of 2020for every time in the last month that I've heard a commercial start with the phrase, in these uncertain times, I would have my college tuition completely paid for. But from this, we can learn two valuable truths. One, college tuition is expensive. And two, we live in an ever-changing world. Just months ago, many of us were looking forward to the day that we would finally get a walk across the stage, diploma in hand. Our classes were finishing up, and we were applying to colleges and job openings. All that was left to do was to graduate, a centuries-long tradition that is often seen as a transition from high school to the next chapter of our lives. But our thing changed when reports of new virus emerged from China, a virus called COVID-19. Although many of us joked that the school would be canceled for the remainder of the year, the reality finally set in when states across the country began canceling the remainder of their academic school years. Within the week, schools across the state were closed indefinitely and the world we knew began to disappear. With the world having changed so much in such a short amount of time, it's easy to say that our primary education failed us. Because it failed to prepare us for the world outside of academics. After all, we were taught that when you meet someone new, you should introduce yourself and shake their hand. But now, shaking someone's hand makes them run for the disinfectant. We were taught that investing in businesses would make us wealthy, but now we know that we should have been investing not in the stock market, but in toilet paper. <laughs> Despite the apparent shortcomings of our education, however, we must be careful not to forget the lessons that we have learned. Although shaking someone's hand may now be a health risk, we learn to always be respectful and formal to our colleagues. Despite the continued fall of the stock market, we learn that becoming successful means taking risks. But if there is one thing that our education has taught us, it's that our world is always changing. Our teachers have long told us that all academic subjects are related and there is no greater example than the regrets of an unpredictable change. In math, we call it chaos theory, a theory that states that we will never know exactly how something will end. And in science, we call it the uncertainty principle, the idea that there will always be some variable 
for some detail that we cannot know to be undoubtedly correct. Even history admits that, all, that not all change is predictable. Just because we knew that America was plagued by the smallpox infection in the year 1520, we had no way of definitively knowing that we would have another deadly virus in exactly 500 years. But I think it is perhaps English classes that have the best name for change, simply calling it a plot twist. Much like a plot twist from a movie or a novel, we have all experienced a change that will forever influence our lives. But just because a story's plot may have a twist that no one had anticipated, this does not mean that the story ends, and neither will ours. Although our senior year may have ended unexpectedly, and our graduation is far from what we had anticipated, the end of high school marks not the end of our story, but the end of a single chapter. While the times we live in may be uncertain, it will ultimately be the choices and decisions of all of us that will write the next chapter in the legacy of the class of 2020. Thank you. Friends, family, teachers, staff and faculty, and the class of 2020. Where do I even begin? I thought for a long time what I wanted to say to you all, but after three months in quarantine and our ultra graduation plans, all of my writing material quickly dissolved before me, and I was left wondering what I could possibly say to come back from all of this. I suppose I could start by saying the moment we walked through Grafton High School doors, we knew we were in for a wild ride but nothing could have prepared us for what happened next. This year in particular seems to be one of, those event, one of those events that could have been the last thing we planned for. Our experience has been far from picture perfect. There have been tears, frustration, disappointment, and hundreds of obstacles to get through. And that was just junior year. But I will not sit and dwell on the negatives because that would stray for the purpose of this event. We are here to celebrate the fact that we entered high school and some, by some miracle came back in one piece. No, we did not have a normal high school experience, but that makes it no less memorable or worth having. The teachers I've had and the friends I've made and the memories I've accumulated cannot be replaced. I do not believe these are the best years of our lives like we've been told. If that were true, the class of 2020 would have a very bleak future. No, these may not be the best years, but they are certainly the most formative, the most memorable. Luckily, this is not the end. We only have just started our lives, and this is merely an introduction. I want to leave you with a piece of advice I was given years ago. My freshman year, I was friends with an individual by the name of Emery Armstrong, a senior at the time. Emery was the kind of guy who looked like he had his whole life together always calm and collected, and seemed like he had the comfort of knowing something that you didn't. I was fascinated by it. My con constantly anxious demeanor craved that type of confidence, which prompted me to ask his secret. I found myself somewhat disappointed by his reply. Take risks. Now being in his position, I realize this is some of the best advice I've ever received. When I say take risks, I'm not referring to something that violates the law, put yours or someone else's health at risk, or gets you on one of those TV shows where they make fun of your pain. When I say take risks, I mean do something outside of your comfort zone, something that challenges you. Talk to that person you think is cool. Take that class you've been interested in. Train to run a marathon simply because you feel like it. I would say grow your hair out, but it seems that most of the young gentlemen in our class have already taken the initiative there. <laughs> For me, my risk was joining theater and speech and debate. Believe it or not, I used to be incredibly shy and absolutely hated public speaking. I went from never even considering getting on a stage to being the lead in one of the last performances we got to have. Similarly, my speech and debate career went from me embarrassing myself in front of dozens of people and intending on never going back to placing consistently in the state and being able to give this speech today. I couldn't have done it alone. I had teachers and friends who pushed me and were there to pick me up when I was down, but that initial ounce of courage has led me to so many opportunities that I would have not discovered otherwise. So don't be afraid to get out of your comfort zone a little. 
We are entering a chapter in our lives where we have the entire world at our fingertips. And it is time that we become our own person and decide where our life goes from here. Do not take that for granted, the time that is given to you. Understand that the circumstances we've been given today, that this advice should be taken with precautions and should not stop you from living out your dreams. I realize we don't all have the same ambitions or the same outlook on our high school experience. Some of us thrived on academics and always strove to push ourselves harder than the year before, and others saw it as an accomplishment just to show up to class most days. Whether you're college bound, plan to pursue a trade, or just intend on going wherever the wind takes you, one thing remains true. We did it. We get the chance to hold our diplomas and say we at least made it to this point in our lives. As small as it may seem, that is something to celebrate. And we made it here together. On top of that, we now can say that we graduated amongst a global pandemic, which on paper has the same punch of saying that you survived the zombie apocalypse. We have a lot to be proud of, class of 2020, and I know we will go far. Life's a beach, and we just got to ride out the waves. Thank you, and congratulations. <laughs>